Hello Exile. This marks the fourth part of my progress in the Affliction League. This time, we have a lot of good loot and numerous build improvements, so let's get started. Let's start with the new Valdo's puzzle box and see what's inside. A desert map with foil mage blood and without the void mod, I think it's worth something. I quickly sold it for 170 divine orbs, not bad. It's time to make the best amulet for magic find. First, we buy a simplex amulet with an item level of 85 or higher. The base alone costs about 100 divine orbs, with this amount, you can put together a couple of good builds. First, use an unstable catalyst to get a 20% increased critical explicit. Next, we need to get shaper influence. For this, we use any influence exalted orb, and then change the influence in the harvester until we get the desired one. Then we use Deafening Essence of Scorn until we get T1 quantity, a very simple craft, but very expensive. Also, to save currency, you can use a focused amulet. In this case, you won't be able to use an essence since only one suffix is available. You can combine quantity with Damage Penetrates Elemental Resistances or another useful node, and hope for a third good node. Let's return to our amulet. I was very unlucky and spent about 40 divine orbs on crafting, but finally, I got what I needed. Movement speed is not the best option, but it's not bad for the first time. Soon, I might go crazy and decide to make a few changes to the amulet. With the remaining currency, I decided to buy Calandra's Touch. Of course, it's not the best investment of currency at the moment, but I like it. Now, I have a ring for 34 divine orbs that provides stats similar to my other ring, which costs less than 10. As you can see, I switched to the Burial Chambers map and added legions, and it is much better than Crimson Temple. Firstly, because there is significantly more open space, Burial Chambers provides a much better environment for farming legions. Also, despite not having obtained a single The Doctor from any map yet, I consistently get at least two The Fortunate cards. Since I've started consistently engaging with the League mechanics, the abundance of Wisps results in so much loot that sometimes I have to spend several portals just to pick it all up. I currently use the following Sextants and Scarabs. The atlas can be found in the description. After a few hours of farming, I thought that the movement speed in the amulet no longer suits me. At first, I just wanted to delete it to free up a prefix, but I had no luck. So, I bought essences again and continued crafting. After many annulment orbs and several spent divine orbs, I got this. I found the same amulet that is listed on the mirror service, so I also posted mine without a fee. If anyone needs a copy, please feel free to contact me. I even managed to mirror him once. I sold my old headhunter to buy a new one with life. Since I cannot use the five-way service in this league due to the game closing as soon as the legion starts, I'll have to increase the survivability in the build. Now, I plan to reach level 100 by farming an 8 mod map with magic find. Why not? I also bought a foil progenesis with a good roll. I also tried to fracture these gloves, and finally, I managed to do it with the first orb. I will need these gloves when I start using a physical bow. For crafting, we use Deafening Essence of Zeal. Currently, I'm looking for Chaos Resistances, but in the future, I plan to add Spell Suppression to the build, so I may recraft them later. And we need to convert Physical Damage to Cold in the prefix and Implicit.
and it's time to make a physical bow. As usual, we need a spine bow with fractured two additional arrows and 30% quality. Since tempering orbs are quite cheap in this league, we use them to get increased physical explicit. Next comes the spam of essences. Detailed crafting information can be found in the video from the previous league, nothing has changed since then. Physical bows sign ridge eyes much better with headhunter since headhunter stacks scale with physical damage, which is much more effective than elemental damage. Until the next video, I plan to replace elegant hubris with lethal pride and add suppression to the build. I aim for more survivability and damage to feel more confident on the maps.